Hello guys and welcome back to another wedding. Joining me at a different time, it is 6.30 on the 21st of March. As we're now about to set off on our family holiday to Orlando, but the big bonus here is I can go watch Orlando City against Portland Timbers on the 3rd of April, so you're gonna follow me on my travel journey there and then I'll meet up with you again on the 3rd of April. I'm so pumped for it. I'll see you guys in a second, I am bloody knackered. Right, so two weeks have passed, well it was a quick two weeks, you've just seen a stunning journey which I've edited top notch, but seriously, two weeks have passed, had a great time in Florida, but now the last day is today and we're going off to watch Orlando City against Portland Timbers. Today is the day, come on with me, let's go, pumped. So now in the car on the way to the, to the stadium, I don't know what to think whether, because I think they have a national anthem before the game, so the game might not kick up at eight, I think probably like five past, or unless that's me being hopeful but we're on the way to the ground we're gonna get parked up go inside i'm looking forward to it i've heard good things and that people chant for like 90 minutes which if it is like that then that's good It'd be interesting to see how many people turn up i know for the start of the season they pretty much sold out the citrus bowl see if the interest has stayed this season because i know last season it dipped off a bit but hopefully it can stay for as well a long time this season but we we'll have to see portland timbers obviously the team that won the mls last season always got a good following heard they might bring 50 to 100 fans today which is quite good considering they've come all the way across the country pretty much for it which is impressive to say the least. Anyway, we'll see you guys at the stadium. We're nearly there. Well, we're not nearly there, but you're going to see it in a second, so watch that. Just don't ask you. We've arrived reasonably close to the ground. It's literally just there. It's huge. But it's like, it's odd. It's not like anything you see in England. It goes up and diagonally out instead of round, which is a bit different, but we're at a parking lot. We pay $10 to get in, which is pretty cheap considering. But yeah, literally look straight ahead here. That's it. Be inside there in a second. See you then. We've got to come out with all these palm trees here. There's quite a few people here, like in this section anyway. I reckon it's. I hope this will. We're about the supporter section because I'm not paying $120 for two tickets. But yeah, now going in. It's like a maze in it. Oh, we're. No? We're section P21. Where on earth is that? Maybe up here? Alright, yeah, we're up here. Right. Let's go. We're in. I'm so excited. We're in. For an escalator to go up to to get to the ground, we not walk up steps. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but you know, good walk. I don't think we could have got any better seats other than we were in the supporters section, but these were. It came to $75 for two of these and supporters section when it came to like 160 Well for me anyway, because they were revised for resales, but yeah. It's really unique this is. I like how unique it is. I'm, like I said, the stadium was at Bagnelli. Hopefully showing you guys this shows that the MLS is now something to be recognised and not just where people go to retire. Also worth noting that Kaka is the only Ballon d'Or winner I've ever shown on this channel or ever seen in my life. He's a bit past it now, but still, he's a Ballon d'Or winner. He's here. Three minutes to kick off apparently, but... 
think there's a wall yet. So. Pump. I deliberately bought tickets above the supporters section so it would be near the noise and that the noise would hopefully I'll be able to show it but I don't know if I can but you know anyway score predictions you're gonna do one you're not doing one right I'm gonna go for a 2-0 Orlando no 2-1 I think Nagbe might get a goal I'm gonna go for 2-1 Orlando you to go off in five seconds, but the players just went on the tunnel, so I doubt that, but you know. It feels like a Champions League game, but it does. It feels like a special match, which is good. Every match will be all like it. Good out of touches. Feels really American, which is a positive. Don't feel offended if you're American. singing, can you hear the Portland sing when there's hundreds of them that have travelled across the country. I, I get that at like local derbies, like that are 100 miles apart in England, but this is just, listen, I mean it's not quite the same, but it's the 1-0, 15 minutes in, even though we should technically be nearly at half time now. But.
Big chance they had another option in the centre, maybe Kakao wasn't the right one. Should have probably finished it from that point though, but still 1 0. Big chance.
Lionel. Um, I don't want to talk about this too much. Because it may be mentioned in a later video. But Ben's score prediction is very close. It's 4 now. It's, it's close. It's, it's so close. <laughs> Just got back to the villa for the last ever time, everyone's asleep, but can we have 500 likes on this video? 500 likes for this. I think it's going to be a long shot, it's going up at 12pm on a Monday, so yeah, it'll be 7 o'clock for the locals here, but that's just, if you can get 500 likes, I would be blown away. If you could help me out by sharing it on Twitter, anything like that, but the MLS is, is going to be big, it's already big, but I think US football is slowly growing to an amount that is amazing, I don't know whether... Other clubs have that same atmosphere. I know that Sport and KC have a good, unique fan base. I know that Sounders have a good fan base. I know Portland Timbers fans are epic. But all I know, I was blown away by that tonight. So, yeah. If you're new around here, subscribe. Next week, we're off to Ebb's Fleet United in the conference, which is a bit a bit different. But, you know, I'm buzzing for that as well. Football is football. Anyway, comment what your favourite bit on the video was as well. Gives a score prediction. It's going to be a midweek upload. Bastard.